we are here for the premiere of Gear 5 in the One Piece anime. I am so excited. Toei's been hyping this up. Crunchyroll's been hyping it up. Everybody's been hyping it up. We have like a bunch of viewers right now on Twitch. I'm so excited to watch this episode. The episode is titled Luffy's Peak Attained Gear 5, episode 1071 of One Piece. We are gonna get started in three, two, one, go. Here we are, one minute, 38 seconds in, the very beginning of 1071. You hear the bouncing sound effects. <laughs> Things are getting ready. Woo! Luffy's peak attained. Gear fifth. Woo! Here we go. You got the world government ships there. Boom, ba ba boom, boom, Zunisha's patiently watching as Joy Boy returns. I love what they did with the end of the last episode. I feel like 1070 had a really excellent ending. With the build up with the music. Mm. Ooh, ooh, what are they doing here? Okay. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of scary the way he's pulsing on the ground. The drums of liberation. Oh, I love how it looks like the little. Oh, oh, whoa! Kid and Law, everybody watching Kaido? Oh my gosh. Woo! The bongos. Even the CG on Momo looked really good for the split second that we saw it. Marco, they're showing everybody. Everyone's reaction is a smile. Oh man. Oh yeah, I love what they're doing. Writing Joy Boy and Drums of Liberation in the little audio effect. That is so cool. Oh, here we go. The ground's turning rubbery. Luffy's got the white hair. Doshtanda, what happened to me? Come on. Luffy, you've attained your peak. That's what happened. Here we go. Uh. I also like that they're kind of showing him catching his bearing. He's like, how can I still stand up right now? <laughs> I thought I lost the battle. No, you didn't. You might have lost the battle, you're not losing the war. Don't worry about it. This is actually getting fun. <laughs> oh, dude. I love the effect of him laughing as he's falling to the ground with the conquerors. Oh, dude. Is that what Zunisha said? That Joy Boy has returned? He sure has. Yo, they even used the Dragon Ball sound effect. <laughs> that is amazing. That is so good. The second he jumped up, they use it. This is getting fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. The little bit of the tease. <laughs> Cutting away from it. Mm. You're awake, pirate man. Oh, this is so cool. I love that you're seeing the effects of him awakening the power throughout all of Wano. Everyone's seen it. Hyogoro knows. Marco knows. Tama and Nami. He's definitely still alive. Luffy's not dead. It's a pretty fluid animation on their faces right there, too. <laughs> Yokata! He's fine. Look at this, dude! Nakama! Woo! Woo! Splitting the sky like that. Lovely. <laughs> Are they going to feel it all the way in Marijoa? Pangea Castle? <laughs> oh man, talking about Cypher Paul? Sacrificing an agent only to enrage Kaido is like putting the cart before the horse. Oh, dude. Oh, this choice of music as well? They're playing this right now? Oh, dude. Seeing, oh man, seeing the Gorosei here too. After what's going on right now in the manga. Oh. Perfect, perfect music track choice. Because obviously they're going to play the awakening music once Luffy really goes all out. But for the time being, it's like the... F oh, here we go. It's as if this fruit is evading us. <laughs> well, that's not entirely implausible. Dude. Oh. This reveal was so fire in the manga, too. Zone types have a will of their own. And furthermore, that devil fruit bears the name of a god. Another name for the gum gum fruit is... 
He Nika Nika no me baby. Oh man, the zone human human fruit mythical type model Nika. Oh man, and you get that shot him in the sun right there. His body had the exact properties of rubber. Oh, he fought as he fancied. And he made people smile. Da 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 Ooh, good splash shots of the Goro. Safe faces too. The Warrior of Liberation. They really made him look so goofy. I love it. Nika the Sun God. Dude. <laughs> Awakening it is said to give its users rubber body even more strength and freedom. And of course, that's Luffy's whole thing. Luffy the Freedom Fighter. I heard that it's the single most ridiculous power in the world. That line also, man, had people debating for weeks in the comment section when it dropped in the manga. When we heard that it's the most ridiculous power, and what that potentially means for the future of the story, bruh. Meanwhile, she's playing the song Odin loved on the day of his awakening. I really do love the sound effects they're using for Gear 5 too. Like the little rubber as he's bouncing back and forth, fantastic. And they really did add some kind of Warner Brothers effects to the floor. <laughs> uh, Hiori, I, I really liked Odin too. Yeah, sure you did, buddy. <laughs> I, I was exploded by Kaido. That's all it was. Don't fall for it, Kamurasaki. <laughs> Please pull the nail out of me. Let's escape together. <laughs> Dude, I forgot how much I hated <laughs> Orochi. I really, really hated him. Because obviously, this was just last year when this happened in the manga, but it feels so much longer ago than it actually was. I did love his double fruit, though. Very cool. So who do you think is going to listen to you now? <laughs> oh, dude, that shot, too. My father kept his promise to you, didn't he? Oh, you hear the little... The string messing up on it, on the Seamuson. Oh. He really believed that you and Kaido would free Wano and spent five years dancing like a fool. He didn't even make a single excuse to his family. I do really like Odin. That flashback was just so good. He believed that you would keep your word. He believed you'd set everyone free. And he withstood the one hour boiling. Dude, man oh man. Absolute Chad. He always had the smile on his face. But the whole nation was taken hostage. And he was carrying the burden all by himself. I wonder just how painful it must have been. Orochi's about to find out. <laughs> I could definitely see, though, people who are just in it for the hype not liking that they included this here. I think there's a situation in which I could understand if, like, people are hyped to see Gear 5 for the first time and you see get the little glimpse of it, and then last minute they just cut to the scene with Hiori. But I think it's important what she's talking about and like how imprisoned Wano was for such a long time, juxtaposing that with the newfound freedom that it's going to have because of Luffy. I think it's important. I think it works for me. I like that they're including it here. Oh. Whew. My name is Kozuki Hiori. Watch what you say, you insolent man. <laughs> You're done goofed, buddy! Even when I starved, even when I was dressed in rags, I've been living up to my father's name. <laughs> Look at his face! 
<laughs> there wasn't a single day when you were the true Shogun. Look at his eyeballs going in two different directions. This man thinks he's in spiral. <laughs> The more foolish and pathetic you become, the more people's deaths will have been in vain. Here we go! Here comes the fire! Wait, stop! Don't do anything to me! Seeking revenge is so outdated. <laughs> Dude, the whole Kazenbo thing was still so wild to me. Orochi, I failed. You have Kanjiro. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you Kanjiro? I'm finished. I'll give you a new stage. Burn her. Come on now. What do you think? This is what happens. I do love how they're animating Kazimbo, though. It's a lot freakier and weirder looking in the anime than it was in the manga. I don't remember it wiggling around like that. I kind of like it better. It really... D oh, dude. It does give the vibe of, like, the last remnant of Kanjiro. And I like how they're animating it where he's, like, struggling within himself of, like, whether or not he should help Hiyori or help Orochi. But see, he was undercover for too long. He was with Odin for too long. Set him on fire. There you go. Kanjiro, you idiot. Hiyori, please help me. No, burn him. Burn him up. A dawn will surely come. It is! Gear 5's happening right now. The Kozuki is a clan that keeps their promises. Here we go! Here we go! Hopping around Onigashima, here we go! I really like how they did that scene! I could do whatever I want to do, so I think I could fight just a little bit more. <laughs> My heartbeat sounds so funny. Dude, I love the little spins. <laughs> Reminds me of Bobbin back in the day. This is my peak. <laughs> Even the way they're like drawing his arms. <laughs> He's not even doing anything yet. He's just standing there radiating hockey throughout the course of this episode. He literally hasn't even done anything yet. He's simply just like, let me show you my power. This is my peak. I'm getting hype. Great choice, by the way, too. Playing that music on the comeback. Showing the, the silhouette of Nika. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the music. Bouncing on the ground. Oh, dude, the remix of We Are. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really do like his color scheme too. I think they're kind of messing up repeating the animation twice though. Like I wish they would have just gone right into it. That's my only slight problem. Oh, whoa. CG Kaido? Like, I wish it would have been, like, new animation both times. Here we go. Speaking of new animation. Here we go, Luffy. That's someone's color of the Supreme Hockey. Where's it coming from? I actually don't hate the look of CG Kaido. I think it looks kind of cool. Here we go. What is that on the roof? It's your opponent. What are you talking about, Kaido? <laughs> Giganto! Come on! Dude, this shot! Grab it kinda like this! Whip that man around! <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> what a high moment! These eyeballs popping out and everything! <laughs> Making everything around him goofy! Oh my gosh, I love it. Ooh! The way the music is swelling too! Oh! oh my gosh! They're mixing overtaken with it! Bum ba da da da! Oh man! Oh, the music is so good! You got the bongo drums, remixes of We Are, remixes of Overtaken. Look at this! I love this! 
I love everything about this. Oh, man. Oh, I loved that interim shot of Luffy's face, too. Bro, just swinging him around. Oh, my gosh. I, I love, I love, 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 love that they are utilizing Overtaken. I did a video a while ago where I was like, the drums of liberation have always kind of been teased in that song. And now they're literally just straight up canonizing it, confirming it. Look at this weird animation. Bro, what? And he's just having a good old time. Body slamming him in the ground. Look at this. Oh. And that last bum 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 right as they're slamming him in the ground. <laughs> Kaido looking dizzy. Great use of sound effects again, like I said. Wow, that entire sequence looked beautiful. I also love that it's got the film grain to it, so it looks a little bit like an old cartoon. Like, I don't know if people are going to pick up on that as much. But it definitely has a little bit of a film grain. Where it looks like it's an old Tom and Jerry cartoon. It is absolutely different from the earlier part of the episode, without a doubt. Oh, dude. Even look at the way they were animating Kaido's tail there. There's a lot of little individual shots there that are super impressive. Yo! That shot of his eyes popping out! Oh, man! Dude! And he's just whipping around in the air. And the way it morphs between the film grain and the regular animation, bro, this is unreal. This, I mean, it's experimental. They're showing his face bounce all over. Wow, the fluidity of this. What in the world? Look at it. Oh, dude, showing his beastly form. Oh, that split shot of Kaido, too. Every second of this is fire. Oh, dude. Oh. Also, again, the music. There's like three different new music tracks in this episode. Dude, what? Look at it burning. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> what? I see. Oh, dude, again, it jumps back between the two animation styles. I love it. Gear five, building it up. <laughs> Got his straw hat on his back. Oh, showing all the gears through history. Ringing the bell. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude, they're even showing the Oda box with it. That was incredible. Everything, the impact frames, the animation with the punches, everything, the colorization, the film grain, the music, bro. Like that looked amazing. I was admittedly getting kind of worried for a second right after the Hiore scene when they repeated the animation. I was like, don't have this be the whole episode, but that was killer. When he's swinging him around and you get that impact frame of Kaido's eyeballs popping out, jump to him, burning him, and putting him on fire, and it's like the charred Kaido with the little poop poop sound effect as he falls down to the ground. Incredible. So cool. And it really makes it stand out. It's got that like Warner Brothers Looney Tunes kind of aesthetic to it. Exactly what we needed. And again, the, the music choices of this episode are phenomenal. Having that remix of Overtaken play during the actual fight, and then the remix just prior with We Are, peak. I mean, really, really incredible stuff. And meanwhile, Luffy's just laughing through the whole thing. And even the different frames in which they were animating him laughing, I thought were really good. As he falls back on the ground and he's kicking his legs and his arms are swinging. <laughs> Kind of like, I didn't want to win like that. Talking about Cypher. Paul, don't worry about it. Dude, that looks like something out of Cuphead, bro. Look at that. No problem. Let's settle this. That is straight up Cuphead animation, man. Dude. Oh. And Luffy's like, don't even worry about him. I'm going to beat your ass anyway. <laughs> We're going to go Looney Tunes in this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
It is also wild, too, when you think of this paired with all the other Luffy and Kaido fights throughout the course of Wano Country. And every single time that he's lost, and every time... Dude, ugh. Oh. Dude! The remix again? Dude, even this! The ways... Yo! Yo, the colors! Not using lines! Oh, man, that shot with Kaido there was beautiful! Great shot at Luffy's face there, too. That shot of Kaido without any lines whatsoever, pure color as Luffy was running down into him. Beautiful. To be continued. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenom I cannot e Oh, new ending! I forgot the plain ending! Oh, let's hear this. Okay. Uh, I I hope they keep the endings of One Piece from now until the end of the series. I really do. I absolutely miss having endings. Mm. Okay. See, I'm trying to follow the lyrics as I'm also listening to it. Let's go. Come on. We can see it soon. Make our hearts beat loudly, of course. Drums of liberation. Something will change. We can see it soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got Yamato. Just running. <laughs> oh, that shot right there. With <laughs> oh, man. Barriette and Carrot. Law and Killer and Kid. It's cool to see them all together like this. This is a slight spoiler, though. I mean, the way they're showing this. That is a massive spoiler. Good lord. I hope nobody looks too much into that. Wow. That was a like a really, really big one. They just threw right in there. I guess we're close enough to the episode at this point, though. Man. I like it. Chill vibes. Perfect for the end of an episode. Needed it after the come down. After okay. Preview 1072. Yo! The Earth becomes bouncy and all of its techniques are bizarre. Is he God or Luffy, or something else. Oh my gosh, look at this. The comedic scene is enough to make your eyes pop right out of your head. Attention everyone, this is peak! <laughs> the ridiculous power. Gear 5 in full play. Look at that shot right there. Oh man. Now real quick, wait, before I end this, before I end this, I really do want to go back and rewatch this sequence right here one more time where Luffy is fighting Kaido. This bit starting at the 17 second mark. From the blast breath to when he actually starts fighting, this entire sequence I thought was incredible. This shot right here, where he gets ricocheted off of the blast breath and is then flying through the sky and you get the little streaks of white. Man, oh man, oh man. And like literally every single shot there is a different frame of Luffy in a different pose, grabbing out of the ground, walking on air, ricocheting down and then his face literally that went so fast you literally see his teeth fly out of his skull his eyeballs pop out he slams down to the ground and then you see the impact from the blast breath man oh man oh man and then that that weird technique that they're using for when he grows the muscle and he's flipping back and forth and back and forth and finally gets the muscle like oh man and really that shot at the end of that confrontation where Kaido and Luffy are talking to each other. <clears throat> Kaido's like, sorry, I didn't want to win like that. And Luffy's like, no problem, don't worry about it. And you get that shot of Luffy's face. The smears seemed like something out of Cuphead, which again, you guys know, he's literally sitting right there. I love Cuphead. The fact that they did that with that, threw a little Cuphead in there, a little bit of Looney Tunes, a little bit of Warner Brothers, Tom and Jerry. Beautiful. I also... <laughs> that impact shot was amazing. I also find it incredibly funny, considering the absolutely ludicrously stupid conversation that's been on Twitter the past couple days of what's more iconic, Gear 5 or Super Saiyan. I'm so happy that in this episode, the beginning of Gear 5, they literally had Luffy use the Super Saiyan sound effect. I thought that was so 
unbelievably funny. I don't know if they threw that in last minute or what the deal with that was. Obviously, I know Toei makes both, but I thought that was super, 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 super funny that they did that. Not to say, of course, Gear 5 cannot become iconic. Of course it can. Obviously, it's a huge power-up for Luffy, but again, Super Saiyan's been around for 30 years, so that entire conversation was so dumb. I'm glad they threw that in there. This thing right here, too. Also, man, I keep pausing it, but that shot again with Kaido's nose looking down with the giant balls on his nose as he gets punched and then the eyeball pops out incredible and this oh my god when it's splash screened into the white and black and it looks like it's written on calligraphy paper oh, incredible man really 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 good stuff that oh even oh like that works in so many different ways where you get the sound effect of luffy's arm but it also can be read as like the the pen, right? Like you're doing calligraphy. Like it's actually being drawn real time. It's so good. It's so good. See, I'm upset that I'm going to be in Japan next week. I'm On one hand, I'm excited because I'm going to be able to watch the next episode live in Japan. But I'm upset because I probably won't be able to live react to it while I'm in Japan. Because it, it comes out, what, Sunday mornings in Japan? Um, so I can't be screaming in my Airbnb reacting to the episode, but I'm going to try my best to try to record a live reaction. Oh, man. Really, I could, I could talk about this for a long time. Superb episode. Really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Gear 5 is here. He's setting the world on fire. Luffy is ready to free the world from the tyranny of the world government, and I could not be more ready for it. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time... I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody. Knock off.